Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it assists you to add a new user and deactivating it simply with the help of Odoo 15 database. We can develop a new user from Odoo 15 settings and it is easy to manage all user related data. Here we can access the access right, preferences, account security and more aspect of each user. So now let's check out how to add and deactivate a user in Odoo 15. A user performs all the daily tasks with the Odoo 15 platform and it is possible to add many users for business process inside the Odoo database. We can select the users menu from the users and companies tab and here we will get the list of all the created users. We can see the users information such as name, login, language, latest authentication and company. Here the create button enables you to generate a new user in the Odoo 15 platform. So let's create John David a new user in the new window. Then here we can provide the email address. And it is also possible to apply the image of the uh, person in the right corner of the user's window. We can manage the user related right inside the access right and the user types are classified into three. They are internal users, portal and public. So specific access right belongs to portal and public members such as restricted menus and recorded rules. Inside the sales section, selecting the subscription as administrator means the user has the proper access to a subscription. And see subscription debit the user has read access for subscription. Then here we can choose the uh, sales as user on documents only means the user has access to his rights and user all document depict the user have access to all the sales record. And by selecting the administrator, the user have access to statistical report and sales configuration. Later, we can select the point of sale uh, as you and the sign as user on shared templates or employee sign to file and more. Then you can manage the help desk project timesheet and field service of the user inside the service section. After that, uh, we can choose your accounting type, purchase, inventory. Uh, etc and moreover we can select the uh, PLM as the user uses product lifecycle management and administrator then the user can manage the equipment by selecting the equipment manager inside the maintenance field and then we can add the quality as user and administrator inside the manufacturing section. And by selecting administrator in the live chat field, the user can delete support channels and the user option assist users to join various channels. Then here we can uh, choose the website and e-learning field of the user from the website field. In this way, we can manage the marketing, productivity, uh, technical, human resource, extra rights and other rights of a specific user from access right tab. Then we can deal with localization and menus customization of John David from the preference tab. Here we can select the language of the user and all the created documents sent to the contacts show as per your language user. And the time values, documents and data are computed regarding the time zone and select your time zone. Later enabling the notification as handled by uh, emails means notifications are sent to your email ID and it appears in your Odoo inbox by activating the handle in Odoo option. And you can add the email signature, uh, Odoo board status and karma points inside the localization section. 
and by specifying the OM action for menu's customization, it will log on for your user. Then you can add the digital signature and initial for the user within the digital signature section. In addition, apply a live chat username that displays in all live chat channels. And here the VIOP configuration section includes browsing uh, extension, SI, uh, SIP password and the handset extension here. And we can choose a method of the user to make a call on mobile within the mobile call ID. And it classified into three methods. Uh, so the VOIP means always used as a soft phone and uh, device phone always used by enabling phone option. And always prompt by activating the ask option. The information about your services and products in a business is quickly shared with a third party without giving a password allowing using the auth. So you can add the uh, auth provider and the user inside the ID of tab as per your requirements. And it is possible to reset the account of Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar of the user inside the calendar tab. After entering all the details, we can click on the save icon and a new user is created in Odo database. Hence a user named John David is made in the Odo 15 database. Now let's check how to deactivate a user in the Odo 15. We can select the user that deactivated from the users window of Odo 15 settings. Here we select John David from the users window and click on this archive menu from the action button in the John David screen. After selecting the archive button, a confirmation page opens before you. Here we can click on this OK icon. Later you can see an archived line at the corner of the users window and go back to the users window and we did not we did not see the information of John David here. So uh, the data is deleted permanently from the Odo 15 database. So here you can see the users window can be viewable in both list view and campaign view. So we are discussed about how to create a new user and deactivate with the Odo 15. So Odo 15 settings are beneficial to maintaining the users access right preferences and more aspect. So all information about users in a company is managed quickly with the help of an Odoo ERP system. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.